people of the Hippocrates Health Institute and they are enjoying their Thanksgiving feast today that they are having and inside there they have a turkey made out of walnut pate. My name is Dr. Brian Clemenotti. How are you? I'm good. How old are you? I'm well into my 60s. You know what that means? You're old? I'm older than the President of the United States. <laughs> why do you look younger? I know I feel younger. You know why? Why? I eat like you do. Really? I eat raw food. And you know how big I was at one point? How? Big, 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 big fat American guy with big fat face. And I almost exploded, so I said, I better start to eat good food. Every morning I drink this green juice, and it has kale in it and mangoes in it. You know why? Because your mother and daddy love you so much. <laughs> they want to give something healthy. That's what I've been giving my children, and now they're growing up, and they have children of their own. Why do you come to Hippocrates? Well, I come here because I made this. So Dr. Anna Marie and I came to this land about almost 30 years ago, and we said, Here's what we imagine is going to be on this land. We're going to build these buildings and we're going to have people come here from all over the world and they're going to stay with us and we're going to change their lives and give them raw food. And it's worked, can you imagine? And right now as we're sitting here, love, we have people from 10 countries, from all over the world, 10 different countries. And they come here and some are trying to get rid of big diseases and some want to stay young and healthy like you. Is there anything you want to say to the people out there that will be watching this video? Yes, what I want to say is I'm very pleased to be here with you because we know you and your generation are going to take the torch and make the whole world understand how good this is. And you're very smart and so you're going to be a leader. And leaders who have truth, and that's what you have, the truth of how to live a normal healthy life without disease, without fear, you're going to be the next generation and I'll be happy to help you come here and take this organization to the next period of time in history. Okay. Um, I was very pleased to meet you and I enjoyed talking to you. You also. Thanks for coming today on Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>what's your name? Odie, uh, my name is Gwen and it's nice to meet you. You really look young. Uh, Thank you. What is your favorite vegetable and why? My favorite vegetable particularly here is sprouts because it has so much nutrition and it's also reasonable to eat and inexpensive for any family who would like to grow them or eat them. Okay. <laughs> If you were a vegetable, what kind of vegetable would you want to be and why? If I were a vegetable, oh my God. Now you're asking tough questions. <laughs> I were a veg probably one of the sprouts in the sprout family because they're so good for you. Oh, okay. That's good. How do you feel right now? I feel wonderful. I do too. I am good. <laughs> What is your favorite vegetable and why? I love so many vegetables, but my favorite vegetables are sunflower sprouts. Oh. Yes. How come? They are so juicy and so good for you, and it's, they're just good tasting. If you were a vegetable, what kind of vegetable would you want to be and why? I like peppers, red peppers and yellow peppers and orange peppers and because they are also juicy. I like food and vegetables that are juicy and easy to chew and, and that gives you lots of nourishment. Why do you come here? So I work here with my husband. We made this place. We made it for people to come and enjoy a healthy lifestyle and to rest for a while. Oh, okay, to that's recover, good. You know, with good food. That's good. Mm -hmm. What do you do to keep you healthy? So I exercise. Every day I exercise. I eat well. I drink enough fluids. I drink those green drinks where we put all kinds of sprouts and celery, cucumber and leafy greens. And 
I work in a place that's wonderful and I have my kids and grandkids. Makes me happy. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to say to the people who would be watching this video? First, I would like to thank you because I think your generation is going to do an amazing change. Thank you. I like people to know that Hippocrates Health Institute is here to help them if they want to change lifestyle, because it could be very confusing in the beginning. There's a lot of different ideas of what is healthy. And we have, for 60 years, the Institute has been teaching people how to live healthy. Are your grandkids also eating well? They're eating so well because our kids are brought up with a great lifestyle and raw food and sprouts and juices. So their kids is also eating that way because they don't want them to get sick. It was a pleasure to meet you and I hope I see you again. So nice to meet you, Odie. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>
Thank you. Yay. Yay. Excellent. Hi, my name is Odie. What's your name? My name is Maud. That's a beautiful name. Thank you. You're How old are you? I am 63 years old. I'm nine. Wow. <laughs> what is your favorite vegetable and why? My favorite vegetable is probably uh, carrots. Oh, why? Yes. Uh, it's crunchy, it's a beautiful color, and uh, it gives me energy. If you were a vegetable, what kind of vegetable would you want to be and why? I would like to be a sprout of uh, any, any kind of vegetable. Just uh, uh, a sprout grows every day and just starts uh, exploding uh, from a <laughs> pod sometimes or a seed and transforms. So I like that. Why do you come to Hippocrates? Uh, I have been coming to the Hippocrates Institute now since 1990, oh. so that's uh, what does make uh, 13, 14 years, because uh, uh, at that time I was not feeling well, and uh, they taught me how to change my diet, how to grow my own food, to grow sprouts, uh, be self-sufficient, and also grow my own organic food. And uh, I keep coming every year to support them. And I think uh, the Thanksgiving Day especially is a great gathering of people who stay away from the turkey dinners. It's good. Yeah. What do you do to keep you healthy? Uh, I follow what uh, they taught me at Hippocrates. Uh, I eat lots of uh, raw vegetables. And uh, I, they've taught me how to make uh, green juices which I drink uh, every day with the delicious uh, vegetables and, and sprouts. That's good. I drink that every morning too. Yeah, that's very good. Is there anything you would like to say to the people out there who will be watching this video? Yes, I would like to tell them that uh, 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 if they get a chance to come to the Hippocrates Institute, it's a great place to meet uh, people who, are, uh, who have different ideas about uh, nutrition, about the ecology, uh, about peace in the world, and uh, uh, just like myself, they could benefit from coming here and learning more and more and contributing to, to a better world. It was a pleasure meeting you and I hope I see you again. Same here. I would love that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Miss Odie, what's your name? My name is Sandra Odie. That's a beautiful name. How old are you? I am 36 years old. What is your favorite vegetable and why? My favorite vegetable is sunflower sprouts. Why? Why? Because it's very high in nutrients, protein, it has all the essential fatty acids that our body needs, it has minerals, it has everything. If you were a vegetable, what kind of vegetable would you be and why? I would be, I like to look a little bit skinny, so I'm looking for a bit, maybe a sparrow. How do you feel right now? I feel great, great, alive. Tell us about your experience here and why you come to Hippocrates. Um, I came here last year to do the health educator program. I am a medical doctor, and almost seven years ago, I had cancer in the vocal cord. It was a stage three. As a medical doctor, I was very skeptical about this food and alternative medicine. So I went to do chemo and radiation. And this is healed me in the middle of the treatment. I am a miracle. My voice is a miracle because I, I was not supposed to talk anymore. And I started praying and telling God, please teach me and help me to have a healthy lifestyle. So it became a passion for me. I started studying integrative nutrition, cancer and nutrition. I heard Dr. Brian in one of my classes 
and I always I was intrigued to come to this place. I moved to Miami and I started coming and I met him in person and he told me to do the Hell Educator program. After that, after I finished all my program, I got the job. And my main goal here is to bring this to the Spanish community. What do you do to keep you healthy? Um, first of all, the food here in Hippocrates is amazing. So that is very important. Also, I exercise. I try to sleep seven hours, drink plenty of water, and have my supplements. Is there anything you would like to say to the people out there that would be watching this video? Yes, I would like to say that in order to prevent uh, any disease, they have to wash the way that they eat right now and start looking for whole foods and especially raw living foods. It was a pleasure to meet you and I hope I see you again. You will see me again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ovi. What's your name? My name is Eero. How old are you? Uh, I'm 36. What is your favorite vegetable and why? Uh, that would be cucumber because uh, I, I think I like the liquid in it. There's lots of water, which is good, and the taste is also good. If you were a vegetable, what kind of vegetable would you want to be and why? I don't know what I would want to be, but I think I would be an avocado because uh, actually it's a fruit, it's not vegetable. But um, I'm going to use it in this case because it has um, lots of fat in it. It's all good fat, but I sometimes feel that I don't exercise enough, so there might be some fat in me as well. How do you feel right now? I feel very good. I feel very good. We just had a great meal here at Hippocrates Thanksgiving, so it was good. Tell us about your experience here and why you come to Hippocrates. I came here uh, first time last year in the summer. And the reason why I came, I heard from about Hippocrates a long time ago. There was a woman in Finland, I'm from Finland, and there was a woman, old woman, who had been in Hippocrates when Hippocrates was in Boston a uh, long time ago. <clears throat> and she told me about it, and she was eating raw food, she was in really good shape. Uh, now, she unfortunately died last year, but uh, she lived a very long life, she was like 93, I guess. Um, and she was always very healthy. I was always interested in, in healthy things, so I was interested to come. That's why I came, and I really like it here. What do you do to keep you healthy? Uh, I, eat, I eat good foods, meaning I eat live foods, uh, living raw uh, vegan foods. I don't eat meat or, or drink milk or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> I exercise, but not as much as I should, I know that, but I do it sometimes, and uh, that's it. I should sleep more, <laughs> that's my next focus. Is there anything you would like to say to the people out there that will be watching this video? This is a good lifestyle. Uh, you will feel really good when you eat this way, when you live this way, um, but at first it may take a little bit of uh, a little bit of time to get yourself there. So you just have to start little by little. And you get there and you're going to be very happy you did it. Hi, I'm Odie. What's your name? Blake. Um, how old are you? I'm 16. Oh, I'm 9. So, okay. If you were a vegetable, what kind of vegetable would you want to be and why? Um, I think I, I, think I would want to be a uh, cucumber. Uh, just because they're funny. What do you do to keep you healthy? I eat uh, properly and I exercise actually a lot. And I, that's pretty much all I do. Is there anything you would like to say to the people out there who will be watching this video? Well, I, I just like to say that if you're doing something that other kids aren't doing, 
it's it's not because you're weird it's because you're possibly doing the right thing Thank you.